We have so much to talk about tonight, and so little time to do it in. Norman! Uh, good evening. Ha good evening. Howdy. How are you doing? Oh, oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, well, uh, I, I better not say that, because I'll be in all night. Uh, I, I better try to get to the point. <laughs> no, 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 you be on. You tell us the lot, Norman. I mean, we are a talk show. Hmm. Well, um, you, you obviously support the royal family. Well, doesn't everyone? No. Well, why not? Well, I mean, well, are, are, are you saying? Are you saying that are, are, are you, the family? Are you saying there are traitors who need routed out and put in the Tower yes, of London? But, uh, I think, no, I'm just saying. I wish I've, I've never met any. Family. I've never met anyone who doesn't support the royal family. Put it that well, way. I have. Who to them? Have you? Oh, well, yes. you're mixing with the wrong company. You want to watch yourself, Norman, because well, you'll end, you'll end, you'll end, you'll end, you'll end, you'll end, Norman, uh, Norman, uh, Norman, uh, you'll end up getting tarred with the same brush. Family, then. Yes, if you fly with the crows, you're bound to get shot at, as my old granny used to say. Yeah, well, can I state some facts about the royal family, you'd then? Better, I think uh, you'd better. It's time we had some facts. Right, we need to right, find right. out who these people are, and we need to root them out. Yes, well... Now, should we hold, do we live our lives, um, this, uh, hold that the royal family as a sending example then of how to live our lives? The royal family as a, do you mean the monarch? Um, I think we should hold well, the monarch. In answer, the, the answer to your question is yes. I think the monarch is exemplary and a shining example as to how we should live our lives. So I'd be quite happy with that. I will accept your point on that. I agree with no, you. Oh, well, you see, the thing is they're not. Who's not? Now then... Uh, who's who's Harry, not? Drinking, smoking. Yeah, but hold, hey, hold on. Wait, wait a minute, Norman. Are you are you saying that nobody's ever drunk or smoked? No, but I'm. Uh, uh, wait, hold, hold uh, on. Uh, uh, wait, uh, hold on a second, uh, Norman. Hold on a second. I mean, if you're going to discuss this very, very, very um, low level uh, knocking of uh, of of the royal family, then you know that's a piece of nonsense. That's pathetic because I mean, obviously, you know, smoking has killed uh, four kings. Right. You know, smoking, no, smoking, smoking killed the Queen's father, George the Sixth, lung cancer. Um, Edward the Seventh, Edward the Eighth died of throat cancer from too many fags. Uh, you know, so there's 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 been a lot of kings killed by smoking. So I mean, are you talking about smoking or are you talking about royalty? I'm talking about the the, the way that the royal family is con uh, conducting themselves. Well, they're, they're, they're a family. I mean, I mean, yeah, but I mean, anyway, any family conducts themselves, you know, in a certain manner. So, I mean, are you saying that they should stop smoking? Well, uh, yeah, uh, or stop drinking? Well, there's, there's supposed to be an example. So they drink. They but wait, 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 sorry, wait a minute, Norman. An example. Sorry, back, sorry wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. No, hold on, Norman. There's supposed to be an example. In, in what way? For example, then, Prince Philip, yes. Right, so you're talking about, are you talking about you'd like to see the royal family give up the booze? Well... Is that uh, what you're saying? Well, the, uh, if they've been held... I mean, do, do, are, are you saying that the, the booze is affecting the work? They conduct themselves. No, yeah, well, I think they conduct themselves pretty well. You know, they are the royal family. Then. And really, to be honest, the way they conduct themselves is not your business. The next way is here... What about nice Prince Philip? What about him? What about him? He's a fantastic guy. Yes, I agree with you. He's a very, very nice man. So you've got that one. So that's a point to you. Hey, you're, you, you and I are in full agreement. A menace. And I've got the people... You're, you're a menace. I know you're a menace. No, Prince Philip. Prince Philip, what are you on about, for goodness sake? Because the man's, the man's 86. Do you go around calling octogenarians a menace? You're a disgrace, Norman. No, you, uh, you, you Philip, should hang. You should hang your head in shame. In a wheelchair, and called it up. You're in a wheelchair. I didn't realise that. I'm sorry. Yes, I've got. I've got the paper here to prove it. You've got the paper to the prove start, you're in a wheelchair. Saturday, July the twenty fourth, two thousand four. And that's when you went into your wheelchair. Uh, uh, right. So fair enough. I accept that. I okay. To get through, there was a lady in a wheelchair. Are you in a wheelchair? And brand are you, uh, Norman? Are you in a wheelchair? wheelchair. Are you in and a wheel? Are you are you in a wheelchair, Norman? Pardon? Are you in a wheelchair? No. Did you say? Right. No, well, why did you tell me you were? Police. You told me you were in a wheelchair. Now you're saying you're not. I think what? you're. I think you're trying to take the Mickey out of me. You no, said you no, were in a. I've you said you were in a wheelchair, and now you're saying you're not. Prince. You're a disgrace. The lady, 
telling me lies. Branded the lady. No, no, I don't, I didn't brand anyone. Branding is a you, you brand cattle for goodness' sake. Prince Philip has never branded anyone. How dare you? You're not, you're making no, all you're think. making all this up, Norman. You need to. You, you know, what is your actual point? Right. What is your point? Wheelchairs. What is your, well, We're not discussing wheelchairs. We're discussing the royal family. Well, that is Prince Philip. Yes, well, Prince Philip's the royal family, of course, but he's not in a wheelchair. No. No, well, there you are then. Well, why did you say he was? Philip, I didn't... Norman, for goodness sake, what Philip. is your... What is, no, what is your point here about the royal family? You're just trying to... No, no, I'm trying to ask you what your point is. Well, Prince, the point is Prince Philip. The point, no, but what is the point about the royal family, right? Prince Philip's busy celebrating his sixtieth wedding anniversary. And, uh, why, why, why have you got a gripe against the royal family? What have they done to you? I'm stating facts here. Right, well, state a fact. What have the royal family done to you? Disabled girl. What is the royal? I'm not a disabled girl. I'm a radio presenter. What has the royal family said to you? No, no, no uh, you're just trying to. No, you're just trying to not answer the question. What has the royal family done for you or not? Prince Philip. No, I've asked you the question. Answer the question, Norman. Question. What's your question? Then? The question is, why have you got a gripe against the royal family? What have they done against you? Uh, well, well, the parasites. They, they call no, no, how dare you call anyone a parasite? That's a dreadful thing to say about anyone. What kind of man are you, for goodness sake? Do you go around calling people parasites? I'm well, surprised you've. I'm surprised you've got any friends. You're a parasite. You're a parasite. You're a parasite on my program coming on here using the airwaves because you're a parasite. Telling the truth. You're, a, you're not telling the truth. You're telling yeah, whoppers. Well, you're lying to the nation and it's a disgrace. I will not have the nation lied to. The other one, why, why are you telling these lies? And, uh, why, why are you telling these lies? Let me give you a few facts about the royal family. Royal family costs you 60 pence a year. 60 pence a year. And the Queen and Prince Philip have done an exemplary job for this country. An exemplary job. Oh, yeah. Well, is that nice? He touched our lady in a wheelchair and called her a man. Listen, I don't think you really are talking any sense here. You're making all this up. Well, I you're, ma you're, you're, you're making all this up, aren't you? No, no, no. You no, are. No, you're no, making no. up lies because what you're trying to do, Norman, you are a very, very jealous man. Four. Eh? Big writing, wheelchairs are a oh, for God, are you still talking about wheelchairs? We thought well, you said you came on to talk about the royal family. Right, let's leave the royal family aside at the moment and talk about wheelchairs. What wheelchair are you talking about? The, the, the lady was... Right, <laughs> what wheelchair are you talking about? What do you mean, which one? What wheelchair? What are you talking about? You came on, you said you were going to talk about the royal family. Now yes. you've taken the discussion on to wheelchairs. Now what yes, do you well, want to say about wheelchairs? Well... You told us you were in a wheelchair. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. And that no, was a lie. No, no, then you, back, you, the then you backslid on that one. You'd made that up to get sympathy. Cheer. That I was a disgrace. Like, I was shocked at you. She was a menace. I thought you were a menace. Well, you, I'm are, you are a menace. Here. You are a menace. Like. You are a menace. No, but I'm telling the truth. No, you're not yeah. telling the truth. You're just telling blatant lies no, because I'm you're not. difficult. I, I've got the a, royal I, family, you I, should throw you yourself, you should throw to yourself to your knees. Saturday you should throw to yourself to your knees and apologize to the royal family for being treasonous. Photocopy of it. Yeah, I don't want a photocopy of you. Of I don't want any of that. No, because no. you know it's true. What do you mean? What well, are you on no. about, for goodness sake? The royal family are fantastic. Why don't you tell the truth, Norman? I'm telling the truth. You're not telling the truth. You're telling whoppers. Now, no, no, what did no, you no, want no. to I say? I have a copy of the newspaper. Yeah, here. well, that's all very well. It's We've all listened. The newspapers, they sell millions of them. We've all got copies of newspapers. Aye, what, what, is your, newspapers. What, is your, what is your actual point? Well, the thing is, they're supposed to be a shining example of how to live their lives. Well, they are a shining so example of how to live their lives. The royal family are a shining example, and you should be shone by that example. Now, yeah, well, are you? Well, are, well, you are you example, shone? Are you shone? Are you shone by that example, Norman? Then, are you shone? Beg your pardon? Are you shone by the example? Am I shone? Shone by the shining example. No, I'm disgusted. You're disgusted? What? Just about being you? No, about the royal family. 
Well, you shouldn't be disgusted about the royal family. What if they were disgusted about you? What if the Queen well, phoned? Have, have what, if the, what if the Queen phoned up just now and said she was disgusted with Norman? No, it's anyway. What if the Queen phoned up and said she was disgusted with you? Would you like that? Pardon? Would you like that if the Queen phoned up and said she was disgusted with you? Oh, she's quite entitled to do so. Well, there we are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there we are. Well, I'll tell you, I, I, I can't speak for Her Majesty the Queen, but I can say that I'm pretty disgusted with you. Well, I'm only telling the truth. I'm, You're I'm not telling the truth. You've told an absolute pack of lies since you came on. You're a disgrace. It's not a pack of lies. It's the truth. Pack of lies. It. Pack of lies. So, no, so, in other words, okay, what else have you got to say? Well, um, there's supposed to be a shining example how to live your life. Well, they are a shining example on how to live your life, well, for goodness sake. drinking, smoking, brawling. Oh, for goodness sake. Drinking, smoking, carrying, sp- drinking, smoking, carrying a brawly. What's the problem with that, for goodness sake? Have you never drunk or smoked? Have you, uh, have you never drunk or smoked, Norman? Of course you have. And have you carried a brawly? Of course yeah. you have. No, I don't use a brawly. Right. Well, I bet you've used a brolly in your life before. No. You said no. drinking, smoking, and using a brolly. No. No. So there you are. You come on. You've told a pack of lies. I don't use a brolly. You should be ashamed of yourself, Norman. Ashamed. I've not told a pack of lies. You have. I've got, I've got evidence to prove it. Yeah, you should be utterly ashamed of yourself. Well, you, you, utterly you, ashamed of you. You should, you should be taken. Reports. You should be taken to the Traitor's Gate at the Tower of London and left. Uh, well, no, no. This is Scotland, you see. It doesn't matter what it is. Scotland, Scotland, in fact, are even bigger. We we actually started the joint monarchy. So you should be proud of Scotland. Scot- proud of Scotland. Yes, you should be proud of Scotland. You should be proud of Scotland's monarchic connections. Well, England can be England, that's fair enough, but Scotland can be Scotland. Yeah, so what I mean, What point are you making that the Crown is united? 1603 has been for 404 years. Uh, the Crown, uh, The Crown, so you should be proud, and the Queen is a very, very fine representative of the Crown. Well, uh, you're, you're a disgrace. Perhaps, I mean, I mean you're, 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 against ev- you're against everything that Scotland stands for. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Scotland actually started the joint monarchy. We started it. It's our doing. The Queen is the Queen of Great Britain. Aye, well, I, uh, I think Scotland should be independent. Well, even if it's independent, that has no effect on the Crown. Uh, well, they can stuff it in England. Well, they can stuff you. Stuff, well, they yeah, stuff you and take you, stuff you and put you in the tower in, in, of London. Yeah, in London. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah stuff, London, stuff England, you. England, that's what Scotland. I say. You should be stuffed. You're a disgrace to Scotland. Well, so is the royal family. No, they certainly are not. I beg they your are, pardon, but, sir. I beg you your pardon. They board? certainly are not. They well, certainly are an absolute credit to Scotland. A credit to Scotland. How dare uh, you tell a pack of lies? I never tell, told a pack of lies. You told you an absolute it. pack of lies, and well, you know it. You're a disgrace well, to Scotland. Go away. Go on. Get out my sight. Get out my sight. Go on. Go on. You make me sick. Get out my sight. I've had enough of you. Get out, get out my sight. Get out my sight. The Scotty McClue Madhouse on Talk 107. The people of Scotland want to talk. They don't want to listen to music. They can download that from a website. Add to the madness. Call 08454 107 107. This is Talk 107.